So despite the fact that the RTX 3080 came out literally about a year ago now, wasn't it last September? I forget the exact launch date. A lot of people are still looking to buy one, haven't been able to find one either in stock or just at a non-completely scalped price. Now the prices are still bad and haven't been getting much better, I've talked about that. So one thing you might wanna consider is a pre-built because pre-built system integrators can buy things in bulk and can also often then give discounts compared to what a normal person buying in the market can do. I mean, you pre built is what a lot of us, you know, people into building our own PCs think, and sure, there are some downsides to a pre-built, but so to be honest here, I got this particular build because I scrolled through the um, build a PC sales subreddit and someone posted an RTX 3080 pre-built here that for once didn't actually look too ridiculously bad, either in price or in the specs. And it's here from CyberPower. Let me kind of fly out of your way here. Ah! And uh, off in the corner here, I think I'll be out of the way. So what are we looking at here? So this build comes in at $2,032, but here's the thing about CyberPower. You have some discount codes that always work. Like I'll, I'll show you right now. If, if I add this to cart, oh wait, I already had one in cart. Let's, let's get rid of one of these because <laughs> I was testing this out. Um, if you use the coupon code like Summit, I think there's some other ones like Lyric, things like that, you can get 5% off, which off of a $2,000 build is $100. So you can actually get this to come in for $1,930.40. Now, we'll, in this video, we're gonna look at not only what specs are actually in this thing, we're also compare it to what could you get from somewhere else? Like there's Build Redux, for example, which claims that you can just buy things at MS, MSRP, I guess they don't specifically say MSRP, but they're saying we only charge an extra $75 build fee. Okay, well, we'll see what options we could get. We'll also look at what would it actually cost to throw these components into PC part picker? So how much uh, of a deal really is this? And then we'll also look at what if you just went to buy a pre-built at Newegg? Like what's available right now? Because one of the downsides to buying a, a cyber power type of thing is that it's going to ship in the future. It is not shipping today. So this one, because it's an RTX 3080, it gives you at least an extra three weeks of lead time. So this wouldn't ship until Monday, November 8th. And I'm recording this video on September 27th. So that is over a month in the future. So there are some big downsides here. Now, what are you actually getting in this build? What selections did we make? Well, it's coming with one of their cases, which is okay from what I know of it. I mean, obviously there are better uh, cooling cases out there and it's not getting any uh, extra fans or anything like that. You're just getting the uh, basic default fans. Now this is actually coming in with a decent processor. This is an 11600 KF. The F meaning that this doesn't have the integrated graphics, but since you're buying a system with another GPU, that doesn't really matter for you unless you're like trying to troubleshoot GPU issues or something uh, in the future. So this is really not a big deal. And check this out, in the for the fall right now, they have a $100 instant off deal here. Is this text too small? I think I can, I can make it a little bigger there. Zoom in a bit for you. Anyway, so that's actually coming in um, with a pretty good deal here. Now the K does mean this is overclockable. It just doesn't have the integrated, uh, integrated chip. Now, one thing that's kind of cool is this is actually coming with a free copy of the Crisis Remastered uh, trilogy and Humankind. Not necessarily games you, you need, but hey, free games are cool. And um, not paying for the additional overclocking and things, but this also actually has a 240 millimeter AIO on this thing, which again, it's the you know cyber power branded one. So it's not one of the really high end ones, but it is a 240 millimeter AIO on here, not some cheapo stock cooler or something like that. Additionally, there's a deal that appears to only be good today. It's a daily deal, but that means there'll be other daily deals in the future. So if you're not buying this today, the second I post the video, it's fine. But this is doubling your eight gigabyte uh, stick to two eight gigabyte sticks of DDR4-3200 from a major brand. It doesn't, uh, it's, it's telling us we're getting it from T, uh, Team T-Force Delta. Anyway, so, hey, cool. Um, 
you really, like, like, faster RAM than this doesn't really matter, and 16 gigabytes is still absolutely fine for any games that currently exist. Now, here's the big deal. You're getting the RTX 3080 here, and this is also what's making this have such a long lead time, because they do add in the extra three weeks of lead time due to the 3080. And you also don't know exactly which version of the card you will get. My guess is you'd probably get a light hash rate version at this point, but you never know. Now also, check this out, you're getting a free copy of Battlefield 2042, so if you're somebody who was going to buy this game, and a lot of people will, that could theoretically be equivalent to knocking another $60 off the price, um, in, for you at least, right? And uh, they're throwing in a 750 watt power supply that currently, for fall, has a $50 instant off here on the 750 watt. It's a Cooler Master MWE Gold 750. Again, there are better power supplies out there, but this isn't some like completely garbage no name or something that's completely underpowered for an RTX 3080. So reasonable choices, and you're also getting a Z590 board here. In this case, it's this gigabyte one. Uh, you could go down to some other options here for like a few less dollars, but hey, that one seems fine. Not only that, but check this out. It's coming in with a PCIe Gen 4 SSD. It's the one terabyte gigabyte AORUS model. So that's actually a pretty fast one. This is faster than some of the other Gen 4s that are basically almost not faster than a Gen 3. This one does go 5,4400, ,4, which if you know anything about SSDs, you know is, is fast. For gaming, this is, this is great. Very, very fast. And again, this one has a current um, fall deal for $120 instant off. This is the kind of deals that you can get from a system integrator like this buying a pre-built that you can be hard to find completely on your own. Not that you can't find sales on your own. Um, also check this out, we're getting a two terabyte uh, hard drive. That's a mechanical hard drive, but that's tons of, of storage here. And again, that's uh, a free upgrade from the one terabyte drive right now. So they have all these deals going on here. Now, I think that's pretty much it, but hey, that's a pretty decent system. Now, what would this kind of a thing cost to actually just build at PC Part Picker. Because remember, we're getting this not for 2032. With that coupon code for 5% off, you're getting this for $1,930. So if I hop over to PC Part Picker and I try to build something equivalent to this, well, let's take a look. If we search for an 11600, uh, I, I have an extra six in there, don't I? <laughs> an 11600, we could get the K version or the KF version. Now they're giving us the KF version, but right now it doesn't. that actually appears to be a dollar more and you lose the integrated chip. So we can get a better processor, but only better in the sense that it has integrated GPU that we might never use. But hey, cool. A CPU cooler, we probably can't get the CyberPower uh, branded matching one, but let's just throw in one of the not super expensive 240 millimeter AIOs, like this $65 one here from Cooler Master, probably fairly comparable. Now, a motherboard, we know that it was a Z590, and let's see if they actually have the exact same board on here, although we can... Uh, um, search as needed. Actually, actually, this is, I'm pretty sure, the exact same one. It was the Gigabyte Z590 UDAC for $175. Uh, if, let's, let's search by price here. Um, no, it was the UD, yeah, yeah, it was this one. It was this one. And then if we, if we take a look here, sure, we could spend a bit less, but these are Z590Ms. So I probably wouldn't, like you're losing something out going on that. And then these aren't much cheaper. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in the same board they were using. Uh, to make it comparable, but it looks like we could have saved a little money on the motherboard if we needed to, switching to a different compatible board. The memory, they were throwing in 3200 uh, megahertz, and they were doing it as a two by eight gig stick. So what does that actually cost you? Let's let's go lowest price. So I think it was the uh, Team T-Force uh, 16 gigabyte. They didn't tell us the cast latency. Ooh, wow, that would be 20. Looks like this one, that's that's like also kind of a uh, not, um, I don't know much about that brand, but 16 cast latency on the uh, 2x8 3200. Let's throw that in there. It's only like $4 above the cheapest one. Okay, so on the storage, we were actually getting that nice Gen 4 drive uh, from Aorus. So we'll throw that in here. Pretty sure this is the one. Yep, the one terabyte version. 
And so, you know, that's a $170 drive. And then uh, let's throw in a, a two terabyte hard drive. So if we're just throwing in a, a two terabyte HDD, you know, uh, I, we could probably get something uh, cheaper than that. You know what? Let's just say we don't want an HDD. L let's just say we, you know, whatever. We, we're just going to stick with the. Um, I'm going to, in other words, I'm going to say like the advantage of building it ourselves here is we could, could actually cut some of the cost. Let's say we just go with the one terabyte here. Again, you could throw in the extra storage, but if I was buying this myself, I don't actually want an HDD. So here, here we go. Uh, now, I'm going to leave off the video card because realistically right now that's just going to be crazy expensive from what you'd find on here. You'd have to hunt for a deal, which is the downside um, to kind of, uh, you know, the build it yourself route anyway. Now, let's throw in a case. Again, we're not going to get the uh, exact same Corsair case that we, that uh, not Corsair, um, CyberPower PC branded one. But how about we throw in like a Corsair 4000D Airflow? Uh, not the most expensive case in the world, but should be pretty good. Again, you could put in a different case that's fairly comparable. They threw in that Cooler Master 750 watt. Um, Cooler Master, I think it was this one, pretty sure, right there. And okay, let's just say we're not paying for an operating system. Maybe we already own an operating system or have other ways of getting an operating system. And so what does this come in as? This comes in at $932. Now that's interesting because that is $1,000. Again, remember this wasn't really 2032. Once you add it to cart, take the 5% off coupon, this is $1,930. So you're basically getting the 3080 for $1,000. You might be like, well, that's above MSRP. Try to find a $1,000 3080. I've been trying for the last year and I have not found one, okay? So if I actually did try to uh, put a 3080 in here right now, just off of PC Part Picker, let's see what this is the cheapest one actually in stock right now. $2,500. Now definitely don't pay that. You can get something cheaper than that probably on eBay. But I doubt you can beat $1,000, which is where you're coming in priced off of this pre-built. That's pretty tempting. Now, could we get a better deal from something like Build Redux? Obviously, there's other places uh, we could look at, but hey, uh, a lot of people are like, this one's only a $75 build fee. Let's let's do this one. So we start our build. We uh, They just have you either like kind of build your own or pop in from one of theirs and adjust it. Let's just pop into, what are, what would they give us for this? This is very close to our price. This is about $60 less than what we're getting. Okay, we would get a 5600X, which is obviously AMD, but somewhat comparable to an 11600K. And um, not not exactly, but but similar-ish. Okay, the rest of the, the stuff seems fairly similar, except what? We're only getting an RTX 3060 Ti at this price. Now this is $60 cheaper, but a 3060 Ti versus a 3080. Also, we're only getting a 500 gigabyte uh, SSD, and that's not gonna be a Gen 4. We're only getting a 600 watt power supply. Wow, okay, so what if we actually put an RTX 3080 in here? Okay, so let's actually put the RTX 3080 into this build. Uh, the processor, I think we could leave as a 5600X. Notice they don't give us the 11600K as an option at all. They don't have a 10600K either, so I think the 5600X is the most similar one that we could throw in here. 16 gigabytes of RAM, and our storage, we want a one terabyte NVMD. Actually, plus the two terabyte hard drive is actually the deal we're getting from, from the pre-built. So we could look at that. Um, now, Windows, we do have the option to remove the OS if we want to bring down the price by $110. So if I apply these changes, let's see where we're at. They all automatically bump up the power supply to 850. We can't choose 750, and they also don't tell us what power supply we're getting. Anyway, they throw in some wireless thing that you don't have the option to say no to. <laughs> uh, but this is fairly comparable to the CyberPower deal. But notice that our price here is now uh, $2,273. So this is uh, $340 more than what we're getting from CyberPower. And it's not exactly the same build, but it's fairly comparable. Okay, so what if we just bought a pre-built on Newegg? So if I just search like, uh, 3080 pre-built. Let's see what we get. We're going to search prices low to high. Give it a second to think. 
Maybe we need to refresh. How, OK, there we go. <laughs> I was going to just, just start making up things to talk about. All right, so what do we got? Ooh, this is actually a better deal than normal. Ooh, it's open box. OK, so if you're not scared of buying an open box, and you also this will probably sell out very quickly because this is cheaper than the non-open box version. But if you were buying right this exact second for $2,125, which is more, you could get a very similar build. The main difference is the 10700K instead of an 11600KF. I would say the 10700K I think would be better um, off the top of my head. Now, you're still getting the 16 gigabytes DDR4. You're getting a 1 terabyte M.2, probably not a Gen 4. So in, this is in some ways better, in some ways worse. It's open box. That's kind of scary, and you're still paying more than the new one. Here's the main advantage, though. It's in stock right now. So if I bought this this second, it would you know ship within the next couple of days. That's the huge advantage. Now, this is actually a 3060 Ti, so I don't know why that's on here when I search for 3080 pre-built. Um, where is my, <laughs> where is it the actual 3080 pre-built? Where's an actual 3080 pre-built? What do we got here? 3070 Ti? No. 3080, here we go. It looks like the cheapest one that's not open box is $2,500. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Looks like you're not going to beat this deal at Newegg, even if you're buying open box. So... If you want to get a 3080, is a pre-built the way to go? I guess if you're looking for a whole new system, I think you're going to be really hard pressed to try to put together something like this, even on PC Part Picker. Like I said, you'd have to be able to pull in your, your 3080 for $1,000 and good luck doing that. What do you guys think in the comment section? Let me know. And a huge thank you to my sponsors, the people who click the join button on this channel. If enough of you click that button, maybe I could upgrade to actually buying things like this and pre-built systems and reviewing them. That would be cool. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you all have an excellent day.